Good morning, it's gratitude journal time. I'm hoping the videos are gonna upload fine this week, and if they do, maybe I can get last week's gratitude journal, which I recorded up for you too. So here are my five for this week, and I hope that you might come up with five more, and we can see how much we have to be thankful for and grateful for as we start another week, the first week of June. So my five include the following. Sunday dinner. Yesterday, we just had a really kind of typical Sunday dinner, and there was something about lingering there at the table after having that kind of complete meal that just felt very special and made us very appreciative and thankful. So Sunday dinner is my first one. My second one is journalists. I was thinking today as I browsed the headlines, which is what I do as I eat my breakfast every morning, how much I am thankful for those people that are reporting our news. I, I listen to the radio and I scan headlines and I do that several times a day to try to remain in touch and in tune. And there are people out there collecting that information and providing an avenue for me to access it. And so I'm thankful for journalists and, and my access to journalism. So Sunday dinners and journalists. Number three is green. We recognized yesterday as we were driving, and this is a later part of my gratitude journal, just how green and verdant everything was. And we've had certainly some good warmth as well as lots of rain, and that has made everything just turn various shades of green. And if you just sit and appreciate that a little bit by looking around, you can see how many different greens there are and how verdant everything really is. So Sunday dinners, journalists, green, how green everything is. My fourth one is a program called Farmers to Families, and this was is sponsored here in New York State by the Cornell Cooperative Extension, and they were providing 20 pounds of produce to anybody who showed up. They did this last week in Niagara County. It was the second time they did this. You just drove through, opened your trunk, and they plopped in a box of produce from farmers. No questions, no charge. And I thought this was just a great program to make sure that produce didn't end up going to waste, but putting it in people's hands, irrespective of need, just to try to make sure that people had that access to the fresh produce. So um, a program that really impressed me, and I was very, very appreciative of the ingenuity to come up with that. So farmers to families. So Sunday dinner, journalists, green, farmers to families. And my last one is birthdays. I saw this past week that uh, Annette Smith celebrated a birthday, and despite all the social distancing and, and other realities, she had reported that it was her best birthday ever. And I think for a lot of people, as they have gone through times of birthday, they've found, or their families have found, very unique ways to mark those days. We did that yesterday. Yesterday was my mother's birthday. She was out of the house for a period of time, and we went and drew with chalk on the driveway and left a little care package on the patio and took a picture of ourselves holding signs that said happy birthday, which we then sent to her when she arrived home. So I think it's amazing that we can come up with these creative ways just simply to, to share with people how much they mean to us in our lives. So for those happy birthday wishes and for the ingenuity that we found to make sure that people just know how special they are to us and that we can make a birthday that might seem like it was otherwise um, really challenged by the circumstances be perhaps one of the most special that folks have ever had. So those are my five for this week. I hope you might add to them with five of your own. And so we can start this week really thinking about all of the reasons and things that we have to be thankful and grateful for. God bless.